Okay, so I'm going to be doing the walkthrough in a second to make sure that this works. Obviously each enemy, so this is enemy 5, should now have their weapon cube attached. Each one should have a script. Um, for the knife I've decided weapon damage of 2 and each should have the audio source as well. Um, obviously that can just be copied from the other enemies. So let's take a look at enemy number 2. If you need to get a little bit closer just click for example, light body. Oh, that's a knife as well. So as you can see, just weapon cube, etc. Um, and for the enemy one, this is for the axe. So you can see just there, it's just that little bit that's uh, the collider right there. So it shouldn't cover the entire axe. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the game. Um, maximize on play. This time I'm going to be going through the audio. So let's check it out. Okay, so he makes the splat sound. So now I'm getting beat up by two of them. Let's see if we can find a third character. Now it's really dark because I don't have my flashlight on. Okay, so that character is not wanting to attack me, so it must be a range issue. But look what's happening here. Every time I'm getting hit by that bat, Taking, uh, taking damage off me. I have to be careful of that. Okay, so I have to ensure that um, it can only deliver damage as long as they're attacking me. Here they come. <laughs> and they're back. Okay, so just a couple of things to sort out in the next video. 